Hello, how's everyone? Another show today. Uh, today's great show. It's just about Earth. That's where the background of Aaron. He have over there the Earth. They have here being on the space. I feel like a NASA thing today. Kind of like you know a spaceship, Star Wars. Um, I think we have a space theme show coming up sometime. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, is it is it Earth Day tomorrow? Or is it today or tomorrow? I forget about Friday. that. It's a Friday. Yes, yep. yes. So we're doing um, Earth Day because of uh, this Friday is Earth Day. As uh, so we we have great, I mean, the visualization that you can find, or if anybody is looking for cool visualization, very different. Uh, the Earth theme, things related to Earth, are incredible. Uh, we're gonna show one real quick now. Uh, but if you've never been in the show, you know, we have different types of visualizations that we're going to bring in. We're going to talk about them. What are her first impression? Is there anything that it's, we cannot understand? And then we're going to see if we can make them better. They also, we sometimes bring visualizations those because they're interesting, cool, different. Uh, if you wanted to bring in a view with us in the show, you can do that. Uh, anytime. We have many different topics every single week, almost the whole year. Uh, if you have any topic passion that you wanted to uh, be with us, uh, let us know. Uh, we can definitely put you on a week. Uh, anything else, Aaron? I'm going to show yeah. you one. Yeah, next, ne cool. next, week, next week, we're doing social media with Sarah Bartlett. And mm -hmm. then the week after that is Star Wars because it falls on May 4th. May the 4th. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So if, you, if you're a Star Wars fans, uh, fan, like a big fan of Star Wars, Call, let us know. I mean, call me, go Aaron, get us with us. Uh, and we I want to say also thank Data Meeting for allowing us to, you know, be here and do this show every week at 3 p.m. We're bringing in new visualizations, uh, things that we find online. It can be from any tool. It doesn't have to be Tableau or Power BI. It can be also something that you find in a magazine, a newspaper, online, anything that, you know, have some charts or visualizations related to the topic. You can come here and, and chat with us and talk with us. So in here, this one, I wanted to show with this one. This is so cool. So this visualization, you put it in the chat already, Aaron, yep. right? Yep. Yeah, this visualization is really awesome. This is a visualization that actually uh, is called your age on in all in other words. Uh, so you, what you do is you pick your, the year of your uh, when you were born. I'm going to pick mine. Uh, 1975, yes, I'm that old. And then it will tell you your age. So pretty much I need to move to Neptunian. I need to move to Neptune. I need to move there. So I'm going to be like kind of like a child or I'm going to move here. A baby. To a baby. Or here to Saturn. 1.59 years or to, uh, what is this one? Mars. I'm going to work. I'm going to move there. 25 years old. So this is really cool visualization. Just just yeah. don't move to Mercury because you'll be over no. 100 years old. I will be, I will be dead already <laughs> here. <laughs> so this is a really cool visualization. I really like it because it's super simple. And uh, it, it won the bits of the day. Uh, it's personalized. I mean, you can select your day, your year the, when you were born. And then it actually, you know, do all the math for you and give you some cool uh you know insights about that so I, I don't know i thought that it was really awesome and simple what do you think Aaron? it's just cool right yeah it's got uh um 38 000 views in about a month wow really oh i didn't even notice that okay cool that's awesome yeah I, again we talked about like you know personalizing these so that people have a deeper connection to it and this this does this in a kind of a fun way mm-hmm and it's super simple, super, like, again, people want to look at it. People want to play with it because it's simple. It's interesting. It's a tell you the story, you know, good colors. I mean, what you want to complicate? It's not complicated. It's just super simple. Anybody, my son can play with this. Anybody can play with this and they can understand it, right? So at the end of the day, that's 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 the goal. That's the goal. Uh, it's out there at your age on other worlds uh can check you it tell, out can you tell you uh how it's sorted it's, it's not like how it is in the in the solar system mm. and it's not by uh 
you know, zero to one sixty five. Mm -hmm. Can't quite tell. Oh, I see what you're saying. Let me see. I created the data using Altrix. Oh, great. So the methodology says here, I created the data using Altrix and I used Tableau to calculate, calculate years for each planet based on the data for NASA. Pictures are from NASA. Background from um, Splash. Um, yeah. Years are approximately. Yeah. Okay, cool. This is great, great uh, information and great, uh, you know, like awesome, awesome uh, information that you can see that it's displayed coming from NASA. I mean, that's what it looks so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, maybe maybe there was a reason why that she, she selected it this way. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's, uh, no, 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 I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's in alphabetical order. I, I don't know. No, yeah, no, it's no. not alphabetical. It's not like years. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, anyway, it, it, that's it's another great cool. idea. Yeah. So Aaron is going to show us. We wanted to start with this one just to make everybody, you know, jump in and, and feel uh, excited about this topic. Really good one. It, it, it is on the chat, and Aaron's putting it in the chat. Uh, so first visualization. Let me see what you got. Okay, I got an infographic. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm not going to try to pronounce this word, <laughs> uh, but basically biomass. So it's it's mm. comparing how much global biomass or how much biomass is is uh, categorized, and so they kind of heavy set up as uh, skyscrapers. Uh, and yeah. I, I would I can kind of zoom out and you kind of see this, the scale, but then you can't really read anything. But it just shows here's all the biomass of everything on the planet. And then mm -hmm. here's all the, the man-made stuff. Okay. So basically, there's more man-made stuff than there is biological elements here on the planet. And if you go, if I zoom in here, it shows that humans only make up approximately 0.01% of all the global living biomass. Wow. So nothing, even though, even though this 0.01% is responsible for all of this mess on this side. Mm-hmm. Wow. Concrete's the, the largest bricks, aggregates, metals, mm -hmm. asphalt, other. That's plastic. That is, um, that and then is they kind of, then they kind of explain like, you know, what, what this means and how they came up with it. There's an article here as well, but just wanted to show that just infographic real quick as, uh, again, you can see side by side that we're this red, Circle is responsible for everything on this side. Okay. Does these, uh, what I like is it goes, you know, it goes down like this and it tells you a story uh, in a chronological order, right? Like it goes down and it just, you can see different pieces. Yeah. And it has that story, like line, story, story line or something, right? Like it just, yep. give, it just actually give you a, a good way to, to see the different pieces uh, one by one. I, I like the annotations. They look pretty good, right? Yep. It gives you a little good. description of what each one is and mm -hmm. how much. How much. Yeah. And you see they change it from white to black, black to gray, different annotations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the red and then gray again. OK. All right. So let me no, go on to the next one. This was this just a great. kind of a fun one. OK. Uh, I wanted to bring up this. Uh -huh. famous graph here yes where, this is great you know they talked about the iraq war which is not specifically earth day related but uh mm -hmm. what i want to show is how in this example most bar charts go up and here they took it down to you know they talk about the iraq's bloody tolls so it has a you know that dripping blood it's got that like that image that like will kind of stand out and be different than the rest so this was a great use case for this and then mine here I'll put in the chat now. Mm -hmm. Kind of does the same thing. So here we're talking about the uh, the burning earth. This is the Viz for Climate Action uh, challenge that they had. I think they do it every year. So I'll just refresh. Um, oh, and you'll see today, Emil, we have a lot of a theme behind mm -hmm. like a darker uh, a darker dashboard that's not just white. Uh, we're going to that uh, dark theme, which 
it seems to be like a very very good trend right now. It's easier on the eyes. It's a little mm -hmm. easier to, to follow. I'll wait for this to refresh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's still refreshing, but you can kind of see what's going on here. So here we're looking yeah. at um, this average temperature line from, wow. uh, what's this say? You know, 1800s maybe, because mm -hmm. this is 1892. Mm -hmm. And then how that's, how that's rated over time and i think it's a good visual of like how much warmer it is mm -hmm. compared to to the anything in the past uh, especially the last couple of years yeah I, I like the colors i mean this and then the next visualization that you have underneath where it says the gray matter let's let's wait let's wait to come it will come back um this is was for the best climate action project okay so this is great right like it does like that i think it may it may have many different like uh it may have a video or something or like uh okay great so you see that that is the one that i was going to talk about this thing yeah this is interesting i mean <laughs> so tell me a little bit about this what this is this one so i uh, when i was kind of just playing around with this i was looking okay here's obviously the low stuff and I, mm -hmm. i'd hover on it and it says 324.6 ppm Mm -hmm. parts per million and then i came over here and it's like 414 mm -hmm. so then i'm like okay well here's the the range mm -hmm. which doesn't seem like that's a lot mm -hmm. you know it's only it's only gone up 100 parts per million mm -hmm. in 70 years oh. it, i don't know that much about climate change and mm -hmm. uh, what this really means so I'm sure it's significant. It just, I was surprised that the, it, it didn't seem like with those, the, the scale that we had, that that was that significant of a number difference. Okay. Wow. And down here, uh, going to mm -hmm. the, the previous one about uh, this coming downwards here, they do that he, here as well. So you have the rising seas. So you can see that it's uh, rising, huh? a change of sea devil has been alarming, reaching up to 99.4 mm in 2021. And then they did that reverse And they talked about melting mm -hmm. ice, so now it's melting down. Awesome. Um, they, they I color, like that. They color-coded it. Here's the Greenland portion. Here's the Antarctic portion. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's just a little bit of sliver over here. You can see, which is probably the most recent year, although there is no axis here, so you can't really mm -hmm. tell. Uh, th there's like a, a sharp drop in both of these. Mm -hmm. Whatever whatever year this is. Let's see if it lets me say June of 2021. June of 2020. Okay. Yeah. So it's got, you can kind of see that that blue sliver there. And then you can mm -hmm. see this one comes all the way down here. Uh, so something happened in that last year that just really made it drop. Uh, but uh, the visual part of this is, is I like because it, it does that reverse. Even on the same view, it does that reverse, uh, goes up and down for two separate things. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, so what it means is everybody, you know, that is looking at this, they don't have to be an expert on charts or visualizations. They can, they will know. You know, melting ice. What do you think about melting? Going down, right? Like going like this, uh, yeah. melting. Uh, yeah. And then the racing sea, then it's just going up uh, like a wave. So definitely it's awesome that uh, that it just shows that. If anybody in the chat wants to, you know, like give us any comments or anything, what do you think about these charts? Um, they're also in the, you, you can click on it in the, um, in, in the chat. And I don't, I don't have there the link. So if you want to look at it in your other screen, just let us know. It so one, thing great. I, one thing I'd probably change here is um, yeah. like, obviously there's a, there's something happening here and you can barely tell that unless mm -hmm. you're looking for it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we need to cut off a portion of this mm -hmm. so that it expands itself out. And then you can probably see that line much mm -hmm. easier. Uh, but mm -hmm. I actually, I actually like this section down here. Okay. Uh, oh, it's a different one. Okay. We're going to, we're going to come to it later. Uh, That's it mm -hmm. for this one. That's all for any any, okay. any other okay. any thoughts on this one. Um, going a little bit down uh, underneath, or, or are you going to talk about this later? You think? No, nope, okay. I'm I'm done with this dashboard. I just wanted to show that. Oh, okay. Up and down. So faded measures. Who? What do you think? This. So I mean, there are a lot of different colors, right? You have blues on top, and then you have green, and then you go go to this kind of like red, and then you go back to green underneath. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure. I mean, I know that they, they're trying to separate. Oh yeah, different things, but still means so many backgrounds: gray, blue, and then you have uh, this. I don't know, red, pink, and then green. Yeah. 
what is this red one? Uh, the green one it makes sense, right? Like it's just going more to. So this um, one you're looking at the uh, gas emitter since since 1850. Oh wow! And then and then this one is just in 2018. Oh my goodness! Wow. So we're and we can see the biggest countries, uh, we're, we're, biggest we're, we're winning highest economies in the world. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that in the green gas. Ukraine is the last one. Look at that. Yeah, and you notice it's not in this one, and I have a, mm. a visual that actually shows that as well. It's pretty interesting. Mm. And then down here, it's like you know, take action, and then I think what, you what can on, you yeah. do? Yeah, it gives mm. you some things to to um, action on, which is great. I mean, it, there is a lot of great, um, I would say, annotations here. That's what I like the most. Great innovations, great, um, great explanations. I mean, it's great. It's awesome. Yep. All right. I the like next, it. the next one. Let me see if this is the one that I like. Yep. This is it. Okay. So this one has that same, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. temperature difference over time, which is kind of a mm -hmm. common thing that people see. And you can obviously see with the the reds and the blues, you know, when that's mm -hmm. where it's hot, where it's cold. That. Mm -hmm. So I think that that number kind of makes sense. Uh, got a couple of these area charts, which are fine. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about was this down here. Hmm. So on the left here is, is a ranking. So this was like uh -huh. what a bump a bump chart. Yeah, a bump chart. Mm -hmm. So you could you could see like the rank, which probably should have started at one, uh, goes down to eighteen, and then uh, over time were the number of years. So we're looking okay. back to nineteen ninety to twenty seventeen. Uh, but what I what I liked is like so if I let's use that example. Let's use Ukraine. Hmm. Look, mm -hmm. look at that. Oh, wow. And it, so that's in, the color of the flag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So back in 1990, they were fifth highest uh, mm -hmm. CO2 emitting country. And going all the way to, to, to 2017, wow. the latest is this data, they're, they they dropped off. They they did a good yeah. job of whatever they're doing to, to cut back on those those emissions. Very good. Yeah. Uh, I, like I saw there's, there's, an, there's an example here of one that's the opposite. You can see that when I scroll through, France did a good job of dropping down. I think maybe mm -hmm. it was Indonesia. You know, Indonesia's starting here. It's it's 16, and they're they're mm -hmm. creeping up now. They're in the top 10. Mm -hmm. How's this U.S. is doing? A Turkey. Turkey was the the one I was thinking of. So it, okay. it did the same thing. It's like stay flat for a while. Now it's just it's just starting mm -hmm. to creep up. So whatever whatever they're they're using is kind of going up. U.S. Mm -hmm. is. It's we're, almost the same, the, right? It's like flat. Yeah, we're we're not good when it comes to that. Right, but I think it's almost so the same. Here, it's almost flat. Mm -hmm. So here you can see the 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 switch. You can see the U.S. and China are on the top mm -hmm. uh, between one and, and two. Then they switch. <laughs> and they switched in 2006 for whatever reason. Because we're we're making they're making too much stuff that we consume. <laughs> yeah, probably. So I, I I like this. There's there's a lot of colors there here. Is. There's a lot of flags, but mm -hmm. with that back with the black background, I think it doesn't. Mm -hmm. it, it's not bad. Um, you can mm -hmm. you can get mm -hmm. the story if you want to see a certain country. You can tell because it highlights exactly. it. You can you can see where it's going. I like I like it because at the end of the day, I mean the way that distributes is that you you select a specific country. So if you select a specific country, you're good to go. Then you you can understand. I mean, it's I, I see it. No problem. I mean, like yep. right there. I mean, the one that you just selected. I mean, yeah. Or the U.S. when you, you select know, if you're, the U.S. If you're in that was that was India. If you're in India, mm -hmm. like, hey, look for for ten years we were in fifth place. Now we're in fourth. Now we're in third. Mm -hmm. and now we're in second. Like, what? Why are mm -hmm. we consuming more? How do we right. how do we correct that? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but, I, I, like I, I, I like it. Uh, they have also have this over here on the right, and they mm -hmm. talk about uh, four possible scenarios. Also, uh, okay. let me back up just a second. Uh, you mean it's got all the questions that you like? Yes. Tell tell me a story. It's like that everywhere. They've got these these questions. So like, what is the question? What what does the future hold for us? Here are four possible future? scenarios. And it, it it if you hover on this, it shows you those scenarios. So mm. it's got one, two, three, and four. Um, and you can see one, two, three, and four. So I'm like, man, what's this scenario? Mm. And you're thirty, ninety. And then if you cover here, it'll tell you 
worst case, this is what happens. This is what we do or don't do. Um, against again, based on assumptions and opinions, based on the data and facts that they have. But um, I just like that little story there. Very cool. Let's go. So let's go go up a little. So we have here the blue. Okay, great. And then you have the questions. So which country emits the most carbon? Very nice. And um, fusion foils for fossil rapid acceleration. Do you see coal, oil, gas? Okay. Oh, I thought it was gas. Okay. Um, really cool. I mean, I, I like that the it's just the same, almost the same colors everywhere. Mm -hmm. what, what do you have all the way on the top? So on the way, yeah. Okay. So some bands here. It's great. It's got a, it's got a statement, you know, since mm. this, it's risen by this. Mm. Uh, probability uh, it's warmed the planet, planet by 90%. Uh, global emissions increased since 1950 by 400%. Mm -hmm. So it kind of tells yeah. a story. It just doesn't just give you numbers at a, at a, a yeah. header, you know. Yeah. So you see, we have Rover. Uh, anybody from the chat, please, uh, like Rover. Uh, let us know what you think. So I like Rover. I agree with you 100%. The color scheme seems to work well. Correct. It seems to pop. It seems to grab my attention. It seems to easy to understand. Uh, nothing complicated. I think the the only thing that is a little bit tricky, Robert, is maybe it's the font's too small. Right? The font's too small on top. Underneath this graph, the same graph that you're right, right now, uh, I think this is, uh, let's see, the temperature, temperature, right? So I can, what is underneath the bars? I mean, is that having a hard time? Yeah, uh, it's, it's just the font that may be too small, but other than that, it's this really not that bad. I mean, so anybody on the chat wants to let us know, what do you think? What do you, what will you change? Anything that is confusing or uh, that you don't like, let us know. Um, it's always tough for like the years, like you, ha huh? you have to turn your head that way in order to read it, which is not, ideal but it's hard when you're showing a lot of years Ma to too much data yeah. yeah maybe maybe that's the trick right maybe maybe we need this needs something to let you do like yeah i want to just see the last five years or the last 10 years or the last couple of years so then you don't have this many years on the screen and then you can see uh yeah so aaron rover says that um yeah i agree my my old eyes can see the small writing <laughs> Correct. So it's just, uh, I think that's the only thing. I mean, honestly, it's uh, something interesting. It's well, it's well, you know, you know, the format, um, it's, you know, you can get very good insights from it. Um, I like the title. The title is good too. I do have so, like little bullet points of, of information points. under each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does it say where they got the data? I think it says on the, at the end, right? Right there. Yeah. Global carbon budget. Carbon budget. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Let me go to the next one. I think you'll like this one. Uh -huh. Let me put it in the chat. Hmm. Let's look at the next one. Anybody uh, is in the chat? Oh, nice. This is also going down, which is interesting. All right. So this is like a... Um... A reverse um, jitter plot. You yeah. know, I've seen these going the other way, but here we're yeah, talking about yeah. here, here we're talking about water, which flows downwards. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this one like, will be cool for Steve Wexler to look at. I think <laughs> this is great. Mm -hmm. So it's in the the metric system number. So I don't have any concept as an American what that means. You know, mm -hmm. millimeters. Uh, to, to gallons or whatever. So, mm -hmm. um, so they're talking about monsoon patterns, and um, here mm -hmm. in India, wow. again, I don't, there's a, there's a lot going on. Almost everything yes. you, you hover on will give you more information, but they do they keep they keep telling you hover here, hover here, hover here. Don't don't just Excellent. look at it, interact with it. I like that. Yeah, um, the, you can see there the you know like Robert said in the chat. You know they're they're showing because we're talking about rain that everything is going reverse, uh, which is great. Which is great. Yeah. I like when you hover on these these cyclones mm -hmm. or hurricanes here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. oh, you can wow. see in the time period how many there were, and they added a little swirly, you know, icon to to, to point out that's wow. what it is. 
What does this mean when you hover? Okay, keep it here. It has. To, is that the ranking eight six zero? I think it says two. No, it, what, it. It, what it's saying is in 1984 there were three cyclones. Oh, okay. and in this case they were all October through December. Okay. So if I do this one, there was one in the in the June September, two in the Mar through May, and four in October through December. I see. That's pretty cool. So if you hover and yes on this one, and, and they oh. do this do kind of the same thing. It's wow. the the percentage change is is that much, and then it tells you how much in that time frame it mm -hmm. rained. So you can see in this wherever this is mm -hmm. uh, that June September is the is the rainy season. What is great is that um, there is also the all of these icons that they're using right here. They have the the clouds. The other one they have that. Uh, cyclone thing um it's uh, very impressive that uh they're doing that in every single one they're giving you uh look at that this is a uh, uh, maximum uh temperature so they have this is another icon looks great yeah looks great um it really does oh, oh that's nice. pretty good that's really good and then yeah the cold then, one yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, and this rank it, they're ranking those um there and you can see um they're ranking them in the tooltip. So it's it's pretty cool. And you can see mm -hmm. like as you scan across this that the mm -hmm. annual max temp with this mm -hmm. reference line, you can see mm -hmm. it's going up. Annual okay. temperature is going up. Even the mm -hmm. minimum temperature, it was going down for a little bit, but now it's it's mm -hmm. it's starting to head back up. So you can see in like exactly. 1947 it hit its low. Mm -hmm. But in this 2015, it's mm -hmm. it's you know significantly. Well, I let's see 20 degrees, and this is okay. So it's only you know 1.1 degrees Celsius. Um, mm -hmm. But you can see that over time, the the number of years we have, they they put a point for each one. You can mm -hmm. see that that's that's going up. It's great. It's great. So go on. Okay, go up. Okay, here distribution of rainfall. Incredible. Yeah, the distribution, I mean, all these annotations, I mean, it's excellent. I mean, like you said, I mean, it looks like you, you can even print this anytime, it can be on a book. I mean, so they even, they even gave some like, like some historical concepts. So mm -hmm. here, there was a flood in 87, it damage oh. estimated 134 billion. I think this was a, a drought in that, that region mm -hmm. in 1979, 200 million mm -hmm. people affected. So you can get a little more context without having to see it in a graph. So Aaron, uh, Robert have a very good question. He said, do these types of graphs have, have to be hand created? How do you use spatial images for points? It's like those little rain clouds. Yeah, I think so. I think you can put that in the tooltip, right? Yeah, you can put it in the tooltip or this could be uh, based in the tooltip. So what, you, what this could be is the first piece, the 1990 on the sentence, could be in the tooltip and the rest it could be a bis in the tooltip so there's maybe another I, I think it could be another bis yeah yeah it's probably here. it's probably another sheet that they've another embedded sheet. inside of that tooltip yeah it's another cheat rover we i feel to it's another sheet that they're including in the tooltip uh so it's a feature that it's not too old uh any problem yeah yeah and these and these i could it kind of looks like they're not exactly spaced out the same so these uh -huh. might be just be floating on that dashboard mm -hmm. but you have to bring in the images yes into Pablo in the marks car under the i think it's the is them not correct am i correct like you have to bring them in like uh images right like you have to bring in like yeah. think about the, the you have to bring all of that here just to reuse what this part is amazing right because they have that um they're talking about rain. That's what it started, you know, the question. And then you can see, yeah. Yeah, Robert and, and then they, they did the same thing. They added, a, instead of just a dot or a whatever is default in this, they mm -hmm. changed that shape to a raindrop and then colored mm -hmm. that raindrop depending on how much water was, was there. So yeah, I, I, so I, you I can really see like in July on, uh, I really like this because you can see it's concentrated right there in the summer, right? It's just doing like this instead of being yep. like this, right? It's just doing like this. So 
anybody can understand that. I mean, yeah, and even the, the layout here is you know this this is their KPI. This is what we want you to look at. Like check out those yeah. summer months, and then hey, around the this they've put all mm -hmm. of this text to give you some context of what's going on. Correct. Correct. That exactly. And uh, so we have Roberto Roberto Reader saying inside shapes folder on yep. the Tableau repository folder. Correct. Absolutely. Yeah, so what if, what if this is a company that want to see, let's say this is a company that does events outdoor or does yep. events uh, outdoor or is selling outdoor or is doing something. And then you want to see when does it drain the most because that maybe affect your sales. Oh, wow. So what is this? Tell me what this is. This is great. I, I, I think I clicked on it once before. I don't remember what's here. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. So just a little more context, it seems. Very like. nice. So this is kind of like a small multiple <laughs> using, yeah. using the, the January, the February, clouds, March, yeah. April. So th these are the months. These are the. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we could do this with states of the US or like yep. any states, right? And this is that states in India. Yep. Very nice. All right, we're halfway through the show. Let me get to this last one. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. This is game. Aaron's going to put it in the chat. Anybody, please chat with us. Uh, tell us what you think. What is your first impression, Robert? When you see this, let's let's uh, Aaron's gonna open it now. Boom, or Robert, or, or well, actually, we have two Roberts, Roberto or Robert. Um, what is your first impression? I was very impressed by this. To me, this thing on the right that it went up. I mean, it's just interesting that they created this kind of like what is it? It's a circle, right? I think the that's radial, what it is. radial, radial yeah. chart. Um, do you know what is funny? uh the guy that created it is also named robert <laughs> let's see yeah nice. robert, robert robert three robert's now so let me um, uh, let me show you some things i like and some things i don't yeah. like what so, was your first impression when you look at it the first time when you it was did, like when you it was like well, it's like wow yeah I, I i like the colors again we're talking about heat and nice. temperature so that makes sense uh -huh. it's, it's a little different it's got that radio look i got a little lost and i'll show you how because you know mm -hmm. here's here's our zero line Mm -hmm. um so we, uh and also you have to scroll down in order to see this whole thing you can't just look at it in one view mm -hmm. let me see if i can back up a little bit so this is our zero line and you can see where it goes up well up and down or left and right mm -hmm. depending on where you're at and you can see about this point everything is up and we're not and we don't go mm -hmm. below that zero line what got me a little confused was mm -hmm. what i want to know what year is this and i can't it doesn't, there's no mm. tool tip there. So I don't know what year we transition to only positive gains. Mm -hmm. um, I can, I can click on one of these colors and it will highlight it for me wherever that lies. Okay. So there's, there's that line. Mm. You know, if I want to see like, what, let's pretend that's, you know, one degree or a half a degree, where, where does that, where does that fall here? Uh -huh. But again, I, I don't have any any years or, or context of when that is. All I know is it's 1850 to 2018 without, okay. I don't know anything more than that. So uh, Robert had a very good question. I had, and I, I, I felt, I felt the same way. What does the yellow you think means? What does you think means that top, top yellow part on the top here? And so the, that's, that's just the end of that range. No, this end. was the. This was the hottest. The hottest, okay. Whenever that was, okay. because again, I can't, I can't even tell when it is, because there's no, there's no tooltip for me to look at. When I, when you open it, you know what I thought this was. <laughs> Do you know when? Probably everybody will notice this. Um, you know when you go to New York or you see stuff in New York that they have that layout of the of the high rises in new york or something like the skyline the skyline yeah i thought that was on the right side here yeah i can see that oh. right right there yeah right there these, these are all the buildings mm -hmm. yeah i was thinking is that the buildings oh nice james is asking james is here thank you, james based on the name 
color and shape, my first thought it was going to be some graphic sun daily cycle. Mm -hmm. hmm. See that? Yeah. So now, is also, it, go ahead. I was going to say also what's confusing is, so we have these two graphs over here. Uh -huh. Again, no, there's no tool tip, so I can't tell what these are. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's it's the same. They're, these are identical. Okay. So, but they separated it, so you can see here's here they highlighted eight of the ten hottest years happened in the last ten years. Okay. And down here, 2016 was the hottest of those. Mm. But they listed the graph twice. I'm I'm thinking there maybe maybe a different way to do that. Maybe you have all these. Dark, yeah. and, then, and then you just make this one this red one. or something yeah. some, or yellow or you know to indicate whatever you want here but. yeah and then and then annotate this this 2016 yeah. what it says 2016 annotation there all you have to do is just annotate it on, on the top one yeah. too yeah. then i don't think that you need the second one really you can delete that one. no mm -hmm. no i agree yeah but, so, so we have this show, show me that that was cool that was some, yes. sounds interesting okay Tell so this one it's, it has a description here. The chart below shows the difference from the fifth hottest left to hottest year right, mm -hmm. uh, as well as where 2016 fell. So that 2016 is this year that they wanted to highlight okay. was the hottest. Okay. So what they're saying is, is in Africa, 2016 that was that was the hottest year on record. Okay. In Asia, it only fell there. In Europe, it only fell mm -hmm. there. But in uh, North America, North, it is. North America, it's one. And if it has this asterisk, it means that. In North America, there was more than one country. Uh, um, mm. And asterisk is nice and kind of with multiple years at that same temperature. So there were more than one country that had that. And then you can see where that falls. And then I do like that they they, they attached it mm -hmm. you know, with this line so you could follow along where that went. But uh -huh. a little confusing to kind of understand that and, and follow along. Yeah, it's still, it's still interesting that they're doing that. Um, like, you know, going down with, with that attached, you know, like, you know, the line, like usually you see that, right? Like left to right, but going down like this, I mean, it's, it's and it's only, it's, it's only in this, it only goes back and forth like this because of it's alphabetical only. Mm. That's the only reason it does that. What, what would it look right. like if you just sorted it by the highest, uh, this, this one, then this one, then this one, and this one, that one, and that one, and that one. It would that just be more a, sense. a line that kind of goes just just down, but yeah. maybe they wanted to, you know, make it look different. Yeah. What? What? Where is the data source? Uh, what data source is this? Where they Where they got this from? NASA's Goddard Institute for Space Studies. Okay, that's another NASA data source. So a lot of this have na NASA data sources, which is. Uh, really interesting. Um, so then you have okay. So what? What are, can you can you tell me a little bit again? Last thing is what were, were those was those lines? The lines that goes around like this. Yeah. So that's like you know no change uh, from the temperature. It's at zero. Okay. And then it goes down to negative two. Goes up two or goes up four. I see. So, so as you mm -hmm. as you follow that as you follow that around, you can see that starting in right here. Is when we hit that uh, that plus point the, the plus point four, yeah. <clears throat> so does this mean then we're getting hotter? Pretty yeah. much, that's what yeah. I'm doing, and substantially hotter because we can see 2018. That is super hot. I mean, yeah, like it's not it's not bouncing around down here like this. Mm -hmm. It's it's just going up, going up exactly because the other one I'm, we're bouncing around like going up and down, but this one is just super hot. Awesome. I like it. All right. That's all I had, Neil. Let's Let me see, see. What you got. Let me show you real quick what I got. Uh, this one is pretty cool. Tell me what you think. Oop, hold on a second. Okay. Hold on. It's your screen. Got the only Earth Day shirt. Now, tell me what do you think. Um, Tell me what you think, right, oh, James. Nice. But James, for this is for, hopefully you never seen this one, James or Robert. And this is ah, uh, always does that. Sorry, guys. Earthquakes recorded between 19, 1898 and two thousand nineteen. And this, there is a lot here, a lot. And I'm gonna go down really quick and then come back. 
So you see, look at this. We have a lot of information. I like the colors. I like the colors, yeah. Colors are great. Okay, that's it. And it says that the data source is United States Geological Survey. Inspiration by John Nelson. And out the author is Naresh Suglani. USGS, right? United States Global Geological, I'm sorry, Survey. Really interesting stuff. Let me go yeah. all the way up again. So, Yamil, let me ask. Uh, so, we got all all the colors, which I think is where like where the where the uh, mm -hmm. earthquake happens. But what are the, the there's like the circle ones, yeah, you know, on the left there, yeah. What what is? Do we know why it, it ripples like that? Mm. We're thinking it's like hurricane. Uh, I don't know why it's not say. Or not not hurricane like a tsunami because of of wait wait, wait 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 maybe, maybe it's just a matter of, okay great now now it's working oh my goodness it became white when I that's what they want they want you to click on it okay cool oh, I see there is actually a legend oh wow this. oh man so guys you need to click on it and it will just show you more stuff when you click on it, it becomes white and uh, some of them. So my um, James says, my guess is these are the largest earthquakes. Uh, so, yes, I think right, so. Yes. Right underneath this map, there's uh, the legend for it. It's the right. size, uh, the location and size of the deadliest earthquakes. Yeah. So you guys can see, and then that's the from 1898. So this bands are great right i mean all the way to the top very easy to understand um then some of them even have a picture like this one i think just hover on the ring like sc scroll up just a little bit they are down yeah right i just there. got a picture there yeah okay so my, uh james says this is the deadliest yep uh and then it says that uh another person says looks like looks like the epicenter of the largest earthquakes thank you very much so if I go, oh, perfect, perfect. That's what it is. So guys, sorry. So if you go around a little bit out of this circle, uh, you can get the some pictures, which is great. Let's see, not all of them. Have, oh yeah, they're all of them have that. And this is for 1920. Tells you 200,000 people were dead on this uh, earthquake. Um, uh, this was a uh, China one. Not sure if I can get the, let's see. Oh yeah. So this is very nice. I think it should have something maybe here in this area that says, hey, click on it, right? Like the other thing that you show where they have the hand and it tells you click here to interact. Yeah. I mean, if they had to, the, underneath, it's got like the map information. I, mean, I, I probably would have put that right underneath that. Yeah. The, the green recorded since 1898, even put it above the bands. So before yeah. you start, like, hey, here's here's what you need to know. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's here. Sorry, guys. Maybe it's here. Let's see. Hover. Yeah. It's just this maybe needs to be on top or on the left side. So it says hover yeah. over the map for earthquake details at each location, magnitude four and over. Okay. And you see significant earthquakes, relative size, map information. So all of this is it's just right here. Just like I think everyone, everyone will start interacting without looking at this. <laughs> Probably that's the thing. Um, let's see what is here. Look at that. Let's look at it here. Yeah, uh, is... Over over the bars for more information. Okay. So what nice. happened in 1973? 1973. That's right. It's right where those bars really start to pick up. Yeah. So you see after here. Yeah. Look at that. And there, there is a line here. Look, there is a one here, uh, one here, one at the end. So let's see what uh, let's see what uh, Don Sanchez he says. Keep only and exclude is the vein of my existence. <laughs> and uh, let's see what I, James says. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I, 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 I can tell what those lines are. 
mm-hmm. uh, it, it talks about the period. So in 1950 to 72, okay. it says most earthquakes were not recorded. So that's that like section. And then that's okay. in 1973 is when they started getting the equipment and the technology to be able to actually record these more, more accurately. For, for, so from here to here or from like, okay, from after 2000, like around here? Yeah, so there's a line there to 2004. Then that yeah, section up above it, it, it tells you in 2005 to 2019. Mm. Um, okay. Getting more accurate. More accurate, exactly. So that could be, that's interesting, right? That could be misleading that before that line, we just didn't have a good uh, technology to, to, to get this data, right? Uh, we have James saying the ability to change the year range will have been nice. There are too many to get much detail. That's true. We're talking about too many years, right? This started in 1898. Because maybe you wanted to see what happened in the last 20 years, right? Maybe that's what you care about. Uh, yeah. but, uh, what's, what's happened in my lifetime? So give me Exactly. A- so you just said something very interesting. Could it be, James, for example, or Dan, that if I we had here at the beginning, the one from the other dashboard, what happened since I was born? So you select... For example, myself, 1975. Okay, tell me all the earthquakes, everything that happened since I was born. That I think will be more uh, easier and easier to understand. So, yeah. for example, I will have to use this one here, 1973 to 2004. Um, so then, as soon as Robert says, I remember a big earthquake in California in 1941. Let's see, do we have that? 1941. How can I go? I mean, that's another good question. What uh, Robert said, could it be that it gives you also like it lets you select a specific year and then you can see everything about that specific earthquake that you remember, like he remembers, right? Because this one, this one only only goes back to 1945. That graph you're looking Mm -hmm. at, Mm -hmm. the filter at the top, the timeline below it, exactly. Seconds. Seconds from disaster, and then okay, let's look at this now. What do you think, Aaron? This one, I like. I like this bar rounded like this. Yeah, I like that. It's it's almost uh, like a hundred percent stacked, mm-hmm. uh, but it's but it's not. It's just doing the count, but it's got it, that end line there. Um, yeah, I, I like that. It's, and again, keep with the same color theme. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 1971. They were talking about. Let me see what this says here before we go there. Hover over the radial chart to show the relative magnitude visualization for each of the deadliest earthquakes recorded since 1980. The logarithm scale shows the difference in power with increasing magnitude. Wow, okay. Pakistan, okay. So let's see here. Okay. So it says to click on it. Let me see. Yeah. So if I go, does it do anything if I go here? Not really. Okay. And then if I go there, let me see what it says here. The richer scale, richer scale and longer manner, meaning that the whole number jumps in magnitude indicates a tenfold increase. If from magnitude A earthquake is 10, 10 times more powerful than a magnitude seven okay let's look at that yeah so this one really isn't much of a, a chart as it is just like information uh of of uh what the categories are for the richter scale yeah i think it would be cool if i click on this i wanted to see which ju- tell me all the were the ones that were like this scale yeah nine to ten does it do anything no right yeah same same thing we're talking about if we had a, a year filter at the top here the same thing if we had a mm. a richter scale Give me, give me all the 10 pluses. Uh, let me see what those look like. <laughs> um, and then it says here, total deaths by year. So this is very interesting because you can see kind of like almost the same size. So you can see that 1941 when, that Robert was talking about. 1940. Well, I think he said 1971. I think that now he said right there. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, it's that tiny little sliver. Rory, I cannot find. I'm not sure. Uh, let me see what it says here. Hover over the bars to show the number of death by year. So, mm. yeah, 
Yeah, it's that one more yeah. to the left. One more to the left. Yeah, that, that tiny little one. Right there, right there, right there. Yeah. Right there. You see, it went in, in the one on the bottom. No, I didn't do anything. I thought it would be interacting uh, with, with the one on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, there doesn't seem too much interaction in between all of these. I do know, I do like that uh, on this one that we're at the deaths by year, mm -hmm. they annotate the top one, two, three, four, five. Yes, that, yes. That there. So you know exactly what those are without having to, to remember from above. Yeah, I do remember this one. Uh, yeah. Hey, the uh, earthquake, right? That's just, uh, something that will, wow, 318. That's a lot. Um, but recently we have not, uh, proportional uh recorded earthquake by richer scale strong versus weak let's see so james says uh robert 1971 71 i'm sorry san fernando earthquake i wish i could find it let me see uh, uh, Eighty-five point twenty-two of the earthquakes last classes as moderate to great. So this is nice. I mean, think about it. <clears throat> this is not bad, right? So if you could, if you could um, have some categories for each year, yeah, maybe this. I mean, I mean, I think I can reuse this for something else. Just imagine that you have sales and you can categorize the sales in different categories or something. Then you can hover through this. And say, oh look, ninety-eight point four point percent of our sales were, I don't know, very high or low or something. I mean, this may be something that needs some work, but it may be that look at this. This is light. Uh okay. It says eight nineteen percent of our equals from a mother to great. And this is so it seems um, like seems like what they're saying here is that since nineteen seventy three two three, uh huh. Uh seventy two, seventy three. Like the the number of really really strong hurricanes has Going declined. Down. Yeah. But what we don't yeah. know is like for example the the Haiti one was in 2010, and if uh -huh. you hover on that bar it says only 19 percent were considered moderate to great for that year, mm. even though there were over 300,000 deaths. Yeah. So how many are, are we talking here on these? So maybe it'd be nice if when you hovered on it it would tell you the mm. number that were strong and the yeah. number that were weak. Exactly. And then this is the next one. Let's keep wow. going. Yeah, this is crazy, right? It's very long. Uh, the co costliest earthquakes in history. Which is funny is that as, as we go up, since everything, you know, the, the inflation, everything is so expensive, then now it's more, right? But who knows if this, I'm wondering if this money here, right? If, if all of these calculations are taken in consideration time value of money or inflation or things like that, because I, I don't think so, James, right? Because this uh, does the, the 239 million, but is it 200? What, what about when, when here in the 1980s, 27 billions? I mean, you know what I mean? It's not the same thing. Maybe 27 billions in 1980s, like 100 billions right now. Who knows, yeah. right? So... Uh, that goes with the second chart, the proportion change from detection. Let me see. Let's see. James saying that goes with the second chart, the proportion change when detection improved. Correct. Correct. So you need to take in consideration that I'm not sure they're doing that here. Let me see what it says here. Or on the chart to show total cost per year by year. I mean, 239 billion of damage across seven countries in 2011. Hmm. Well, that's a lot, but still. Yeah, do they account for inflation? Inflation, you know, and, and um, I would cool. guess probably not. Probably not. Probably not, because this seems to me like a lot of money in 2019, 20, in 1980. I mean, 27 billion. Yeah. I mean, that, that sounds like a lot. The same with this, 100 billion in 1995. I mean. Imagine now <laughs> how everything is so expensive. It's going to be insane. So who knows? And then this is uh, fault line lines types. Yeah, just some information of like the definitions. 
the definitions, yes. So I'm going to show you guys uh, one more because we're almost there. Uh, see, this is the one that I wanted to show you. And I'm, I'm very interested. It is it's small. I wanted, I wanted to get everybody's. I'm going to go through the questions like, what is your first impression here? Uh, let me see if I can make it a little bit smaller. So I like the, they put here how to read. So when you hover here, it shows shows. Let's see. Oh, wow. What the hell? Okay. Something happened. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So how, how to read? Let's see. Okay. Oh, nice. So this is how to read. You click on that, and then it actually gives you this information, right? It gives you some of the how to read this, how to read that. It says, total number of different natural disasters are on the globe between 1968 to 2018. And then click hit, click on the bar to filter the map. You know, it gives you all of this little uh, insight here or there to uh, know how to read this. I, I do like that. It's that toggle on and off. You can see it It kind of fades the map to say, hey, pay attention to this text. This is how you're going to uh -huh. use this dashboard. That's really nice. Correct. So what is your first impression here real quick? It's got um, it's got that dark, the dark black background, mm -hmm. which I like. I, I, I like the colors they're using. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to understand what I'm looking at because there's a lot going on here. This, this rear, yeah, this could be a little bit hard to understand. Uh, they have they are using great icons. Uh, extreme temperature, storms, earthquake, great great uh, icons here. Flood. We can see flood is number one. Look at that. Uh, which is great, right? People are scared of other things like earthquakes or storms, whatever. But look at the uh, flood, right? It's uh, pretty high here. If you click um, on, if you hover on any of those points on the map, <clears throat> it gives you that vision tool tip to see. Yes, very nice, very nice storm. So we can see that. Yeah, this one is awesome. It's really I like cool. uh, even right there in the on the right hand side, the bottom right, it says how does blank compare to the rest of the world? So you choose a country, and that graph underneath it will change, and it'll change that circle to where it falls in that that row. Okay. So, I don't know, let's do, I don't know, Bahamas, I don't know, I don't care, I'm just going to, I wanted, wanted to select something. So, the Bahamas, we see a lot of flood, uh, storm, right, makes sense. So, James is saying, if you click on type, let's see, he said, if you click on type, it highlight, highlights those lines on type. Let's see. So if I click on here, does it do that? Oh, perfect. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. I was wondering, like, where does the volcanic activity happen? Because it's so low, and that's how you'd find it. So, okay, so if you click here, let's see. Does it work? Okay, so I have to click twice. Okay. Does it work? We said 400, where well, it says, until it works, it's four. Okay, great. Now it works. Yeah, it works for me. 405, uh, apparently, is that, what, is that the locations? Uh, cannot see the tooltip. Okay, wait. Events. I'm sorry. Those are the events. events Register yeah. around the globe from 1968 to 2018. Look at that. I mean, it's interesting to see no volcano. We're, we're, we're fine here in the U.S. No volcanoes. <laughs> Just here. and um, But everywhere else, there's a lot. Yeah, it's big in... Again, so this here's a question. Are, are those points going to individual countries or, or the mm -hmm. locations where they happen? Because, like, like I, I'm curious there in South America, there's those two pretty large... That, when you hover on it, it doesn't say what country it is. Mm -hmm. it'd, be, it'd be good to know like where that is. So James is saying 
it just goes to the country, not the location in the country. Correct, correct. Okay, great. Very nice. Very nice. I just, I just don't know what some of these locations are, these countries. Yeah, uh, let's see. Peru. Let's see what happened in Peru. I know the Peru because I see it in Peru. Oh, wow, they get everything. So in Peru, they get extreme temperatures. Uh, landslide, floating, storms, earthquakes, and they even have volcanic activity. Nice. Got a lot of countries in here. So that's a lot of data. Yes. The other thing that I was wondering is, does it change this? Um, the number of natural disasters in the world increases dramatically over the 58 years visualized with the storms and flows being the most common. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it changes. No, right? So if I click on, let's see, storm. Does it change underneath? I don't think so. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So this, what this says is that it's just increasing. Since 1995, 1990s, since the 90s, it's just increasing a lot. I mean. You can see, and then this is great, right? You can see that flood uh, here. Yeah, but you can actually see that it's declining. Uh, oh. 20, 2016. I guess it's mm. only one year, but it went down. All the all those went down, unless this was reported like mid year. Then that would make sense. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so the data is NASA. Socioeconomic Data and Application Center. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, um, this is a, a graph that it's not used too much, um, but I think here is fine. I mean, let me show you everyone what I'm talking about. This thing here. Um, I forgot how they call it, to be honest, but there is a name for it. Um, but you can see the, the, the if, if you hover on it, yeah. And I, what I like is it actually shows you that specific country. Huh. Um, so, like for example, if I go here, 49. So if I go to any other, these are different countries. But if I hover in on it, and, and now in Peru, I selected Peru. So which this could be very useful for this, this type of graph can be so very useful for some other stuff. Like, for example, min and max, right? So we have this mean and max. Uh, we can select a specific country and see how it, it falls between between all these other countries. So imagine you have a uh, James uh, sales uh, location states, and then you're just you know highlighting those locations, those things within that uh, visualization. It's great. I like mean, if you were like if you were a store manager, where does uh -huh. my store lie uh -huh. in in uh, one of these metrics? You, uh -huh. you click on your store number and you can see where you fall against the rest of the company. Yes, exactly. So so this could be on the left, James Curve sample could be uh, products, different products, right? And then this is just, uh, you know, like, okay, my store ranks between all these stores 109. I don't know, selling cars or whatever it is, chairs. I don't know. So I don't know. It could be. It could be good. It could be nice. Um, and uh, that way, there's something easy to, to really easy to understand, actually. Uh, so it's not bad. I like it. Yeah. So that was the last one. That's the last those, one. Those are both good. Yeah, you like that. And and then real quick. So here is the um, Tableau conference. Let me know if you're going. I mean, if anybody is going to the Tableau conference, uh, we want to know. Just put it in the chat or send us an email. We're going to have our session. Here, the live mystery show at uh, three charts at three live at the Tableau conference. So it's going to be in person. We're going to do our best to record it and may probably, uh, you know, put it out there uh, in LinkedIn uh, later on or the next day. Uh, we're not going to be able to stream live, but we, we cannot do that, unfortunately. But we're going to do our best to record it. And if you're in the conference live, please join us, find us. They're going to put the times uh, on when it's going to be soon. Uh, but we're going to be in the conference. Uh, come with us. Uh, be with us there. 
we're going to have visualizations related to, and we can do this now, related to iron bisque. So all those iron bisque visualizations from many years, since the first one that Steve Wexler was the first iron bisque champion uh, up to last year, we're going to be looking at some of those, uh, some of those that we're going to pick, like we do in the, um, in the live show. And that's it should be really cool, very interesting. We're gonna have some uh iron bisque uh competitors, special guests in the, yes. in the show. Yeah, they're gonna be with us in the in in the room. Uh one that, that won, I think it was last year that he won, right? Uh yeah, I think so. He won a Christian, he won last year in 20. Oh, I'm sorry, no, it was in 2020. And he's gonna be with us. So we, we guys I can ask him any questions about what is to be a competitor uh, with Iron Bisc. So that should be really super interesting. Uh, but anyway, just let us know. I mean, anybody wants to participate next week, we're going to have social media, the super interesting uh, theme. I'm going to be presenting some dashboards. I uh, like social media a lot, uh, social media, web analytics, things like that. If you, if you know anything about that or like to participate with us, just let us know. Uh, be with us next week uh, and the following after it's a uh, star wars theme that that should be cool really yeah. cool star wars if you have any star wars fans just let us know please i'm gonna put it there and link it in later and, and yep may, may 4th two weeks from today that should be a good one anyway thank you so much i uh, hope to see you guys uh, next week thank you all right see you guys bye. see you email bye bye thank you thank you Ron.